it's Courtney Six here at Choices Recovery at the fabulous Eco Lounge in the heart of the 2016 Sundance Film Festival. I'm here with Per Wickstrom, who is the founder and CEO of Choices. Hi, Courtney. Uh, uh, thanks so much. This is this is great. It's so great. You know, Courtney. One of the way, things I like to tell everybody is, we try to tackle drugs and alcohol, of course, on a holistic manner. Of course. Well, when you go to the doctor, the doctor puts you on some kind of a prescription because of depression or your bipolar or whatever. We've learned to tackle it in a little bit of a different way where we use vitamins, minerals, amino acids, exercise, laughing, anything that releases those endorphins. Yeah, it makes you happy. I mean, because I believe everybody in this world, we all get depressed. So what we found is, is if we treat the individual and get his body healthy, then we can attack those issues because we've all had friends, loved ones that have had problems. I know I have. Now, how did you, I, I know a lot of your history, but, but what made you want to get involved with helping others? Um, I had my own skeletons in the closet. I know, you know, and I had to get into recovery because I didn't want to live my life doing cocaine. Right. I, you know, life got to be kind of really It was complex. revolving around. Yeah, it was revolving around the drugs instead of revolving around life. So that's how I got into it. You know, the best, the best doctor is somebody that's done that's it. That's been through it, that's right. for sure. What kind of epidemics do you see facing our country right now and our youth? Yeah, that's, a, that's a great question because it, it kind of touches on all aspects of what we do. People are starting to get, let's say, older, younger. So at the young age, they already started to get addicted. Parents find out about them. They immediately send them to the doctor. The doctor puts them on another prescription to counteract that prescription. And then we have the spiral down. They get older and older, get more depressed and more depressed, more introverted, more introverted. And pretty soon you have a full blown addiction. And sometimes people die. I mean, it's a tough, tough world out there. Like I was saying at the beginning of our interview. And it's, in, in my business, especially tough because you don't want to quit. Because none of us want pain, none of us want to feel bad, and none of us ever want to have to say, I had to go to rehab, don't be ashamed. Just go. It's better to go and live and enjoy life than the other. Amen. Amen. Amen to that.